Okay, welcome back to School on Business. So, Blaine, what upcoming events do you have? Well, we have our fall luncheon back at the Bridgestone. Unfortunately, at the time of this taping, we have not finalized our guest speaker for the fall event here. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we're going to be hosting that on Monday, November 21st. Okay. And I could not be more excited about the guest speaker that we are on the, the five-yard line in confirming. Yes. Uh, this, is a, this is an international figure that we're talking to, a uh, person whose schedule is in great demand, and I think it's just going to take the event to a whole right. other level. Well, all, all your speakers are awesome. The, one you. of my favorites has been the gentleman who studied uh, Winston Churchill. Stephen Mansfield. Yes. yes he's a prolific yes. author and speaker and uh, makes his home here in Nashville, so it was okay. fun to have him speak. Yeah, and so the, the um, website where folks can get more information is Nashville leadership.com. That's Again, exactly right. NashvilleLeadership.com. So touching bases back to before the break, you were suggesting that entrepreneurs set time to, uh, to for business development. What should they do in that time? Sure. Well, the first thing to understand is who your target market is and the way that we suggest folks get to that is define your ideal client so in a perfect world when you match up your services mm -hmm. with the person that's going to most benefit or be best served by that you have to have that target market in mind and the reason that i bring that up is not that every client's going to be ideal but if you're 10 degrees out of phase with the ideal, we can work with that. If you're 45 degrees mm -hmm. out of phase with the ideal client, we may not be able to work with right. that. And what all too, all too often people are driven by fear and a lack mentality, and so they, want, they spend equal time with anyone that will listen to them, and they waste so much time on people that are not a good fit that they don't have enough time mm -hmm. for the people that are, because again, they're fear driven and not um, strategically or vision driven mm -hmm. and that really is a tremendous distraction so that's the first thing that I would say the second is truly truly understand the impact of your product or service and, and an easy example of this is recently I was working with a construction client that is doing a new newsletter and instead of the traditional newsletter that no one reads that you hit delete on because it's here's how great we are over here and here's what we're doing over here we went out to a birth center at a hospital and interviewed the director of the birth center and we said, Jan, what was life like before this construction project? What were the challenges that your staff were facing? What was it like for your patients? What couldn't you do that you had to send to another hospital because of this condition? And then we said, what's life like now? And what are the measurable results of that? And it's so rewarding because we didn't focus on what the construction company did. We focused on their impact. And this lady that we interviewed was in tears. She was in tears talking about how much better life is. She was in tears talking about the fact that there's a waiting list now for her department of people that want to work there because they know the difference that this facility has made. And so it was, it's just really powerful to get inside the head of your customers or your clients because all too often human beings are self-focused. They're so inward focused on the company and profits and short-term mm -hmm. goals that they lose sight of the customer. They lose sight of the reason they're in business in the, in the first place, mm -hmm. at least if they have a healthy sense of motivation. Well, yeah, and that, that is, it's really hard to keep the customer at the top of mind. It is. And, and what, uh, what I mean by that is, is seeing the world through their eyes. But hey, we are out of time for this week. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. And Blaine, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, bye now.